this is just one of those mama to mama ideas that you can put on your baby registry or just know ahead of time that this is something that you want to invest in. This is Emily here and we are out on our afternoon walk. That's a good job. Our oatmeal with ground flaxseed. Vix me. Vix me. Baby registries can be very extensive. We can, especially as first time moms, be really paranoid about, oh my goodness, do I have everything? Am I gonna be prepared? What am I gonna use every day? What am I never really going to end up using? And then what are people actually going to buy me? What do I ask for? All of those types of questions that can come to your mind as a first time mom or even a second time mom. So we are pregnant with baby number two and I was starting to think of what did I actually use with Harvey every single day since he's been born. The first thing is this rocking chair, okay? Rocking chairs are amazing. I don't have the luxury necessarily to nurse or be in our room um, when Harvey woke up as a newborn. And I won't again with Cal or with baby number two. I'm not disclosing the name yet. So having a space in the house that I can go and I can sit, I can nurse, I can rock. And depending on the baby and their temperament and what they like to do, it's a very big blessing when the baby won't go back to sleep and you're exhausted from shushing and burping and you're standing up trying to soothe the baby and the newborn and then you have the rocker we we love this rocker it's comfortable it's soft it's quiet um, and another one of the big things that we enjoy about this rocker is that it swivels and it's one of those big ticket items that you can be really thankful for that maybe somebody else gifts you or that even you ask as maybe your whole family um, chips in for or your friends chip in for um, because these can be kind of expensive um, but that's a baby registry must have for us that I have used every single day since he was born. So what is baby registry must have number two? A good monitor. Okay so I'm going to show you guys. My son Harvey is upstairs right now inside our home in his bed and I just put him down for his nap and the reason why I say okay he's kind of under the he's kind of playing around with his blanket but you can see here he's playing around in his big boy bunk bed you can see how great it is that I have the freedom because of this monitor to come outside when it's absolutely beautiful and enjoy some sunshine. And I don't feel like I have to be inside the house two inches away from the door to make sure that he's not crying or screaming. And, and I have the peace of mind knowing that he's okay because of this little monitor. So I know it may sound silly to some, because some people don't, they're anti-monitors, which is totally fine. That's totally your prerogative. But I will say that when I have the freedom to do and to go pretty far, this thing reaches, it reaches pretty far. There he is. He's just kind of hanging out there. Yeah. Um, it reaches pretty far. So he's inside all the way upstairs in his room with the door closed. And this monitor is actually, it's an infant optics and there's so many different brands, so many different kinds of, I mean, you can go upwards of three to $400 for an infant monitor, but, um, Harvey is two years old and we will probably switch this monitor camera over when we put baby boy number two in his crib, not for a few months though. 
and so Harvey won't have a monitor in his room anymore because he gets up and out of bed on his own anyways but for right now before baby number two comes it is nice to still have to know oh yep okay he's just playing around in his bed he's falling asleep just that peace of mind so again this is the infant optics and um, this is by satellite instead of Wi-Fi, which is something that I didn't really think about before um, making a baby registry, um, was the fact that a lot of monitors are by Wi-Fi. So if some kind of creepy person happens to get on your home Wi-Fi, then they could look in on your baby sleeping. So. Thinking about a good monitor, we invested in this one and it has been awesome. It's lasted us two years and will probably last us <laughs> another year or two. Um, so we have the infant optics, but the reason why I'm saying this is because this is one of our three things that our family has used every single day since Harvey has been born. Okay guys, now we are outside and we are on our evening walk this is my son harvey and you are how old hi <laughs> you just want to say hi and we are with our little puppy gunner here's gunner and this is our number three absolutely must have for baby registries is the stroller and the reason why I say that is because for our lifestyle, Harvey has gone pretty much out of the womb into the stroller. So we like to stay active. We like to go on hikes. We like to go on long walks around the neighborhood. Here in Arizona, it's nice. Nine months out of the year. So we're in January walking out baby number two, baby, yeah, baby brother. And we are just enjoying a nice walk in our stroller. But this is number three on my absolutely necessary baby registry must-haves. Number three, and the reason for it is because I've literally used it every single day since Harvey was born. We go on walks. <laughs> yeah. And we just, we love it. So that was one big investment for baby number two that we also um, decided to, to buy and to purchase was um, a double stroller. It's too tight. Okay, I'll loosen it up a little bit, but we have to stay in this, we have to stay in our stroller. So that is a three baby registry must-haves for you guys. We can go. I hope that helps you guys and um, you want to say bye-bye? Bye-bye. So if you have any other baby registry must-haves that you, bye. that's so nice, that you put on your list for more of bigger ticket items, let me know. Those are my three, the bye -bye. rocker, the monitor, and the stroller. Hope that helps you guys. Have a great rest of your evening. Bye. Mama out.